Hello friends and welcome to my monthly reset for May. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Olivia. I'm a teacher living in Tennessee with my husband, Matt, and my fur baby, Freddie. And in today's video, I'm just going to share with you how I reset for a new month, or at least typically how I reset for a new month. So today is a little bit different because I actually just got home. It's Friday, April 29th, and it's already 437, and we have a ton to do. Per usual. The reason I'm choosing to do my monthly reset today is because Matt and I are actually leaving on a trip and I say it in quotation marks because it is a trip but like it's not a vacation. We're actually going to South Carolina to be with his mom for just a few days because she's having a surgery and so we need to be with her. Since it's already April 29th, the month of May is upon us and I have not done my monthly reset yet. So we need to go ahead and prepare for the month of May now since we have just a little bit of time. So in today's video, I'm just going to kind of walk you through and show you some of the things that I like to do just to prepare myself for a new month. And one of the first things that I like to do with Matt actually is we create our budget and really we should be working a month ahead, but we're not that good yet. So we always like to create our new budget and then we are also going to go back and review the month of April just because within the Every Dollar app, you get to drag your purchases into the different categories that you made. So we just need to kind of make some updates there and check it out a little bit, see if we've overspent anywhere, you know, all those good things. I like to do kind of like a tidy up slash deep clean for a new month. Today, it's just going to be a tidy up. I don't always do a deep clean to welcome a new month, but I do like to deep clean when I can. And today is just not one of those days where I'm able to. So we're just gonna do like, a little bit of a tidy up. So when we get back home, our house just feels fresh and clean. Another thing that I like to do is fill out my planner for the month of May. I've already started to do that a little bit, but I like to go back through, check on April's budget, see what my goals were. Did I accomplish them? Did I not accomplish them? What can I do better? So we're gonna make some goals for the month. Think about videos that I wanna plan for in the month of May all those good things. I always like to pick out a quote or a Bible verse for the new month, so we'll do that and just check our upcoming dates. We're gonna go ahead and jump into the video. I'm sorry the intro was kind of long. We're gonna go make a coffee first and hopefully that will give us a little bit of motivation to get all of this stuff done. <laughs> I have to say, as beautiful as this coffee is, it's just not the same as my regular coffee. Normally I use espresso shots and I love espresso so much better. So I mentioned earlier that Matt and I use every dollar as a way to kind of like track our spending and everything like that. And we do use the paid version and we love it. So we sat down the other day and we created our budget for May. And if you are new to budgeting or are scared of budgeting, I feel you, I get it, but it is so nice to just kind of have a plan for your money and it's not restricting at all. You literally create all of the categories. So for example, so I'm looking at our April budget right now. Under personal, we have a ton of different categories. So we have subscriptions, hair, like Matt, Matt gets his hair cut way more than I do. I honestly couldn't tell you the last time I went and got my hair cut. And then this year, 
This month we had a section for gifts and it was a lot higher because we had some things going on. I go and get my nails done, so I had a category for that. We have a home decor budget, which we didn't put anything in it this month, but it's there, it's a category. We also give ourselves fun money, dry cleaning, makeup, school, because I always end up spending money for my job. Christmas, which is just still on there from December, but we're trying to be better about like budgeting earlier this year. We just haven't started yet. And then we even have a section for Grove Collaborative because every now and then we'll do cleaning supplies for the month. And then we also have a vacation budget because we're doing that right now. Airport parking because like I said, Matt and I are going to South Carolina and we are flying. And then we even had to put a freaking budget for taxes because we had, we owed money. I don't know how our, our taxes have been a mess this year. And then Freddie has a budget. We have a miscellaneous budget. Like, my point in telling you all of this is that I feel like people can sometimes get bogged down and think, I'm not going to make a budget for myself. Like they, they think it's not like, I feel like people think it's restricting, but it's not because you do tell your money where to go. And then of course, you know, we have the other budgets that are not so fun, like my student loan or rent, you know, the, the important things. So when you're looking at the screen up at the top, you can see all of your different purchases. So like if I go and click transactions, we can see all of these different little things that we've spent money and they just need to be dragged into the correct category. So it's kind of like a game because you have to like drag it into the correct spot. But I'm gonna sit here and do this and then I'll kind of talk you through our plans for the May budget. All right, the April budget has been updated. So now I'm looking at our budget for May. So we take what our income will be and we put that in there. And so the different sections are your income, giving, savings, housing, transportation, food, personal, lifestyle, health, insurance, and then debt. Those are all of like the sections that we have in our budget. We budget out every month for like kind of how we think we will spend and then drag each purchase into that category when it pops up on the app. It's really convenient and really nice. All right, for this next little section, we are going to fill out our planner, getting a little bit comfy in the chair. I shared it before, I'm gonna share it again. I love this thing so much. It's my Erin Condren Life Planner and I use it literally every day. We're gonna start with April and just kind of look and see what goals I had, did I accomplish them, all of that jazz. Accountability time, here we go. My school to-do list was to get my end of the year gifts. I did that, check. I haven't put them together yet, but I have them. Start working on a portfolio slash resume. I didn't do that, so. <laughs> I'm gonna put a star by that one and then add it to May because I do want to do that. Try to thrive, but definitely survive. I mean, I'm gonna give it a check. I have not been thriving, but I, but I have been surviving, so. I didn't set a ton of goals in April just because the past few months have been really insane and I haven't been able to get a ton done to be totally real. So one of them was a little bit more personal, so I'm not gonna share that one. And then the other one was to gather more info on Pooler, Georgia slash the Savannah, Georgia area because I mentioned in a previous vlog, Matt and I are considering looking to move there possibly in the near future. We're just trying to be closer to family and I mean, there are no concrete plans, but we do want to go and visit in July, so. I did do that. I've been kind of looking on Zillow a little bit at just the area trying to figure out a little bit more. I could definitely include it again, so. And then um, for my quote, I put, you may not be where you wanna be in life, but you're also not where you used to be. Take a second to realize just how far you've come. And I love that quote. I love it so much. I might use it again. I would say my April month was like 50-50. I got some things done and then didn't get some things done, but that's okay. All right, we're gonna start with the school to-do list just because I kind of already know the little things that I wanna do. Prepare end of the year gifts. I'm using a Sharpie pen, which is not my favorite right now. Like normally I like these, but they're not my normal pens that I use. In fact, I think I'm gonna go switch it. 
All right, much better. These are the ones that I've shared before. It's starting to come off, but these are the Mr. Pen pens and it has a super fine tip. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a really, really fine tip and I love it. And I am gonna go back and add about my starting my resume slash portfolio because I do need to get on that. I'm hoping that I can find someone to make me a resume. Another school to do thing that I need to do is to start working in our school garden. I think those are the only three things that we're gonna put for our school to-do list. All right, we're gonna move on to May goals. I'm gonna keep it simple again because once I finally get to the end of school, like I think things will slow down, like I'll be able to catch my breath and get caught up on some things. But for now, we're just gonna do like some really simple attainable goals. And I think that's like the key because you can't just give yourself all these unattainable goals because then when you don't meet them, you feel like crap about yourself because you're like, oh, awesome. I wanted to do all of these things and I did none of them or like one or two of them. And so that's why it's important to make sure that you're giving yourself attainable goals. Okay, one really easy one that I'm going to create for myself is to make my own coffee at home because not just me, but Matt and I have both been like really bad about going and getting coffee and we've spent too much money on coffee. Not that I'm gonna cut it completely out, but I just, I've started using my Nespresso maker again. I can make a good coffee. I actually even made myself a vanilla sweet cream cold foam this morning, that was pretty good. So we're just gonna make that a goal to make coffee at home more of the time. Something else that I really need to work better on is my quiet time. At the beginning of the year, like January, Dece like the end of De December, January, I think even like February too, I was doing so good and then boom, I just like stopped and I can tell in myself when I'm not doing that. So, okay, I think I'm gonna do two more goals for me, but they're like really attainable, simple goals. So for one of them, I'm gonna put plan out Georgia trip. All right, and then my last goal for me is to get back on track with YouTube. All right, I think those are four really attainable goals. She's done. For my quote for May, I ended up going with grow through what you go through. I just thought it was appropriate because flowers and gardens have really been on my mind here lately. And then the last thing that I did was kind of got an idea of what I wanted to do for my May vlogs. All right, updated to-do list. It's getting smaller. If you remember me sharing about the poor fiddle leaf, <laughs> He is still hanging on for dear life, but he's still here. We've still only got the four leaves left. I did give him some water last night and then, you know, I told you we're gonna repot, but I'm just, I'm not sure. We'll see if he makes it until I can either get a new one or a new pot. And then I also wanted to show you, look at these cuties. I'm doing the little avocado seeds and I'm trying to grow them this way. So hopefully, it will start to like sprout there at the bottom or at least that's what I've seen in the videos. I don't know if I'm doing it right, but this is what I saw. They look really cute. I don't have cute jars though. I just used like two mason jars and then like, <laughs> and then a tiki glass jar. Oh, just filled that. Anyway, we'll have to do a little update later. So that way we can kind of get busy with our little tidy ups. We can come home to a nice clean house and have everything kind of like reset and ready for the month of May. But I wanted to show you my outfit before I actually change. So I think I've shown you the little jumper that I got from Target, but now I have it in olive green. I am in the market for some bodysuits because I don't have anything good to wear underneath, but I just paired it with a black tank top and I love it. And then I put a denim jacket over it. So it would be school appropriate, but I really love it so much. And now I'm about to go and put on something that makes me look more like a bum. So I had to like show you my cute outfit before, <laughs> before I changed.
break and I wanted to come on and share some of my books that I've been reading here lately. So I've been trying to read more books throughout the month. Sometimes I do good, sometimes not so good, but that's okay. I use the Goodreads app if any of you also use that. We should be friends. I try to update this as often as I can, but sometimes I forget. So Matt and I will listen to books a lot together, but then also I like to read by myself and he listens to more audiobooks than I do. I like to actually hold the book in my hand, but I do enjoy audiobooks. When my commute was longer, I used to listen to them all the time. But so my current read right now, and I'm actually almost done with it, is the Enola Holmes. This is the fifth book, The Case of the Cryptic Crinoline. And it's so good if you like mystery books. Um, I think I've actually shared about it before. So these are like young adult books, but I love them and I will forever love young adult books. So it's the Enola Holmes movie that they put on Netflix. I didn't realize there was a series of books. So this is the next to last one. I think there's one more, but I have flown through them and they're really quick and easy reads but it's Sherlock Holmes' younger sister is what the books are about, and they're so good. So that is my current read. Okay, so books that I have read in... Since I'm doing a monthly reset here, some books that I've read in April and, like, late March. Matt and I love listening to the Alex Ryder books together. We always get them on the Libby app through our library, and so whenever we're on car trips, we listen to those together. Another young adult book, but they're so good. So we actually just finished book eight, Crocodile Tears. And then I might have shared about this one, but I also read Once Upon a Wardrobe by Patty Callahan. So, so good. I loved that one. It's about this girl who has a younger brother and he's obsessed with Narnia. And so she meets C.S. Lewis when he's a professor at the university that she's attending. And he kind of like tells her stories about how Narnia kind of like came to be. And so that's what Once Upon a Wardrobe is about. And I loved it. I gave it five stars. It was so good. I would read it again. And then Matt and I also read Snakehead, which is another Alex Ryder book, and then I've been reading the Enola books. But those are kind of like my updated books. I think it would be so fun to do like a book recommendation video. I love reading. I always have and hopefully always will. But if you've got any good book recommendations, make sure you leave them down below because Matt and I try to go to the library like every week, every other week, and it's become kind of like a fun tradition. So I am going to try and finish this one if I can get my crap together and get all my stuff packed, I'm gonna try to just finish it tonight and then I'll take this one for the plane ride, but we shall see. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog. It is getting kind of late and I am losing steam, which is not good because I am not done with all of my stuff. I've done most of my tidying up, but I've still got to get all the packing done. I've got to pick out my outfits. I was not really prepared for all of that because it's been a really busy week at work and so I am suffering the consequences now, but that's okay. So thank you guys for coming along with me this afternoon and kind of going through what I do for my monthly reset. I really like watching these videos. I love a good monthly reset and even though I may not do these same things every time, budget is always something that we do and then I really have gotten pretty consistent at filling out my planner and creating goals too so I love doing those things but thank you guys so so much for watching and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye!